Waiters and waitresses of Reddit, what is the most awkward couple date you have ever witnessed at work? They sat down, and, from the girl's body language, you could tell she was into him. As the date progressed she closed off, then sat pretty much sideways, then was playing on her phone. The body language shift occurred over maybe 1.5 hours. He didn't stop talking the entire time. She did give some nods and a hulless in response, even perked up a few times to contribute. But his monologue never stopped. Lol there's a certain point where your brain just involuntarily shuts off and stops listening. I worked at an ice cream parlor. Kinda old to me. Not much seating. Anyway, guy comes in with a girl, they pay for their own cones, and take a seat at two of the seven stools. Dude is talking, and girl is laughing and into it. Two hours later dude is still talking, and the girl looks like she wants to cry, or punch him in the face. They withstood the Galaforce trauma of at least seven families with screaming kids, adults who just love that these tiny places still exist, and several rounds of me sweeping around their feet and pointedly scrubbing the counter around them. The guy never asked her a question. Never let her say more than a few words before he stomped out her rude interruptions. I was all, hey guys, we close soon. I hope you have a nice day, but I need to mop. We still had a few hours, but like duck I was just gonna listen to some twat prattle on about himself if I didn't have to watch them walk down the street and he was still talking. Like, ducking get a room with yourself, guy. You're obviously the man of your dreams. I don't really know if this counts because I think they were married. At a table with two crying children, how are you doing tonight? What can I get you started with to drink? Father do you have a shotgun back there so I can blow my head off? The wife's glare at him was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I honestly hope that man is still living. Edit. Holy hit. Bless you for the gold, kind stranger. Sir, if we did, there wouldn't be anyone left working here. I've told this one here before. I worked in a resort hotel. High end. I waited tables in the fine dining restaurant. It was pretty common for people to propose there, so much so that I had a system for the whole thing. One guy came in and wanted to do the ring in the champagne thing, and I talked him into doing a dessert alternative that doesn't result in a sticky ring and champagne on the floor. Anyway, long story short, I bring the ring. She says damn it, I've told you before I'm not marrying you. He flips, she's super calm about it, and basically treats him like a child having a tantrum, which to his credit he was not screaming or anything, just very upset. He left, she ate the ducking dessert, eventually he came back, and paid and they left together. Super awkward. In college my friends would do this, stage a small argument, and have the guy rush out, and the girl just sit there looking depressed as a way to get food calmed. There was a couple sitting at the bar together, seemed like it was a first date. Maybe after 30 minutes of them being together I'm in the back rolling silverware and the dude comes running into the back and goes, there's an exit back here, right, and proceeds to bolt out of the back door. We were all flummoxed. The girl sat at the bar alone for at least another 45 minutes before she left. Oh hit, this happened to a couple I was serving one night. I was like 19 at the time, very awkward myself, and these were two grown SS ladies in their late 30s. One of the women came up to me and explained that she wanted to pay and leave without the other woman knowing. And she did. She even said the date wasn't good for her. But like, her date sat there for a long time waiting for her to come back and eventually I went and awkwardly told her hey, so your meal is paid for and you can leave if you want. She seemed surprised, but she didn't take it too terribly. I guess you could call this a couple date. I was working at a wine bar when a married couple sat down on a pretty slow night. I went over the specials and they ordered. Once appetizers came out the man thought it would be a good idea to serve his wife divorce papers. I did my best to avoid that side of the bar. I did bring out tissues for the wife who was breaking down. I ended up boxing up the dinner. The guy paid, but I do not envy that ride home. This happened to someone I know. It was a complete surprise to her. He had never once mentioned divorce. Things seemed to be going okay between them. And then one night he took her out to dinner and told her he had already started the paperwork. They had been married something like 15 years too. 
I work at a dinner theater, and we usually do proposals, where we set up a random draw, where the winner comes up on the stage to win their prize, and are then surprised by their partner who proposes. It's usually sweet, and makes everybody in the room all fuzzy and warm. This one guy wanted to take it further, and requested to perform a song. He brought his own music and everything. We are pretty easy going at this job, so we agree to let him do it. We do the fake draw, the woman comes up on stage in front of a room of 400 people, and the music starts to play. Apparently this guy was a little nervous, and he compensated by having a few drinks. So what follows is a slurred performance of a song written by this guy that seemed to focus on how he was sorry for cheating on this woman with her sister, and at the end of it, he gets down on one knee and proposes. Usually this gets a round of applause, encouraging the person to say yes, but not after that train wreck of a performance. The poor woman was just holding her face the entire time and starts shaking her head and says no, what's wrong with you? She storms off and leaves him and our stage manager on stage to a bunch of murmuring from the audience. The only thing our stage manager can think of to say on mic is well, that's that. The guy ended up staying for the rest of the show and had many more drinks. That was years ago and it still remains one of the cringiest things I've ever seen. There's a habit of some older couples where the elderly gentleman will order on behalf of his wife. I guess it might have been cute and romantic once, but it doesn't work with some younger couples. I was serving a younger couple, early 20s, who seemed pretty early into the relationship. They were ordering drinks, and he orders her drink for her. Far from being dazzled by him knowing what she wanted, she didn't want any of it. Well I'd actually like a lat, not a coke. But fine whatever, if I don't get a say. He responded quite angrily with oh sorry, have what you want then. She got a lat, and he glared at me. They ate and left. Not been in since, I'm sure they're doing well. OMG why would you order for someone without them telling you what they'd like first? That's so weird. There was a couple at my work having drinks, girl went to the toilet, came back and admitted that she'd been sleeping with the guy's brother. Apparently glasses were thrown across the room and they both got kicked out. Lem do some lines before I lay this on him. A guy proposed to his girlfriend at the booth across from my friends and me at Olive Garden. When he got down on one knee and opened the box, she was shaking her head and then just stared silently. It must have been a whole 30 seconds of pure silence, but it felt like an eternity. Then, the guy proceeded to describe the ring, how much it cost, the different aspects of it, etc. Finally, the girl just went, no and the guy just sat back down, and they tried to finish their dinner. I caught eyes with our server, and he made the most perfect holy hell, that was bad face. Jeez that was awkward. Edit, I still picture him saying my love for you is like these breadsticks, and limited 3 he didn't say it, but I still picture it. Edit 2, I really don't think she rejected him, because of the location. Obviously, I can't be certain, but she seemed like a nice girl, and had this what are you doing? You hardly even know me expression on her face. IDK if this counts, but when I was a waitress at Olive Garden, one of my tables was going over their divorce paperwork. When I greeted the table I asked how everyone was, and the woman said, terrible. We are getting a divorce. Like WTF do I say to that? Keep the breadsticks coming then, eh? Bartender at the time, not a waiter, but they were right in front of the bar. Attractive woman comes in with a very loud dude who never took off his rollerblades. Humbler brags badly, mostly just bragged he clearly thought sounded humble, loud enough for me to hear in a bar for about an hour, thanks her and leaves. He thought it was a date, apparently she was doing sociological research on people who use Tinder. I was relieved. Really little guy, maybe 5 foot 4, 120 pounds comes in with a gigantic woman, probably 6 feet tall and easily 300 pounds. Both tatted the duck up with piercings to match. The woman orders her dish, and before I get the guy's order, he says in a pexy voice, I think you want more than that. She smirks at him, says, you know I do, and orders 3 more entrees. This was clearly a thing for them. They seemed incredibly happy together, and became regulars at my restaurant. I feel like I played a not insignificant role in this bizarre couple's eating fetish for like 3 years. <laughs> Ducking subscribe to Reddit throne.
Ducking subscribe to Reddit Throne.